Will George R. R. Martin finish the winds of winter? More like the winds of never. Hello, friends. I am the man you may know as E from Our Reviews Will Kill You. And as you may or may not know, I'm a pretty big Game of Thrones fan. Now, not necessarily Game of Thrones in the sense of, like, the show. I like the show. Not much I could say about it. It was, at one point, a really, really good show. And then, obviously, by the time they ran out of source material and started deviating from the book, it just was not as good. But what we do have... <laughs> For many of the longtime suffering fans, as you may know, the winds of winter, we're still waiting for it. It's been 10 years. I've covered it a couple of times. But what I do have is, is good news, perhaps? Probably not, because all it does is distract from what we really want, which is winds of winter. George R.R. R. Martin announces another book. Great. Uh, this is just <laughs> it's called the rise of the dragon and it's going to be tied into the new hbo series see what i think's going on here is the man is afraid to finish the show there's been several times when he posted on his blog where he's like you could tie me up and beat me down if i don't finish this thing and yeah there's there's been a lot to it and i find myself going yeah Dude, when is this going to happen? When can we see the end of this thing? The book currently will have 188 new illustrations. And it's, it's I think it's some kind of, uh, I don't want to, it's like an encyclopedia or reference book. So instead of writing the books that made him famous, he's doing reference books. And he's not even doing them himself. He has other people doing it with him. Yeah, it's a more encyclopedia Ma uh, manner is the way that they're saying there's authors Elio M. Garcia Jr. and Linda Antonson have returned to help him with the tome. He needs more people to help him. Dude, just finish the at this point should we just say that it's not going to happen? Is that what's going on here? Obviously, Game of Thrones fans have been and continue to be furious at this man. They realized that he announced a new book and yeah, they're like, bro, what's going on here? Let's see here. The last time he penned, uh, penned a book, yes, it was over a decade ago when he did, well, I think it was Feast for Crows was the last one. He's 73 years old. He's so busy, so busy that he can't get anything done other than the thing that everybody wants to be done. He said he made a lot of progress on the winds of winter in 2020, but not very much in 2021. Guess what? It's 2020 freaking too. I mean, granted, I understand that the books were originally writ written in the 90s. I think the first book might have been written in 94. I did not read them until many, many, many years later. So obviously, when you're a hardcore fan, maybe you have to just be prepared to wait, but the man is not getting any younger. <laughs> He's so excited to announce the rise of the dragon, the lavish visual history of House Targaryen. Oh my gosh, the iconic family at the heart of HBO's Game of Thrones prequel series. Like all this is, it's to tie into the new show so he can make more money. Cause he's like, what if Winds of Winter flops? I just, I, I understand, but man, maybe you shouldn't have sold your whole show. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know how to feel about it other than, oh, I guess the last one was not Feast for Crows. It was Dance for Dragons. My bad. Yeah, it says it's been 3,901 days since the release of A Dance with Dragons. And people are <laughs> so sad seeing all these negative posts crying for the winds of winter. I'm excited for what releases we get. No, because I don't care about them. I'm not reading them. I'm, you really think, who? <laughs> You should raise your hand if you're excited to see a brand new Game of Thrones prequel from HBO after what they, they lit it literally went from one of the greatest shows of all time to literally one of the worst endings that has ever been on TV. Up there with the Sopranos and all the other disappointing finales. People were so egregiously mad at this thing. 
any goodwill that they had is gone. I don't understand why. Like, trust me, the fans are not happy. And I don't know that this show's going to do well. Like, so far, the pictures don't look that exciting. I mean, just because you throw a couple of drags in something does not mean that people are, like, super excited for it. Yeah. I, I just... He doesn't... I don't... I haven't bought a... Ever since I started real... Like, when he started writing all those other meandering things that were non... Like, connect... Like, not focused on actually getting the main book done, I stopped paying attention and stopped picking... I didn't pick up any of those extra books. Um, you know, I, I don't know if he wrote, like, The Ramblings of Littlefinger, but I know that he did do a couple of other random stories. I just I just ignored them. There's two books to finish, bro. If it takes you another 20 years to finish them, you'll be in your 90s. You're not finishing them. So we're going to get another Robert Jordan-type scenario here where you're going to get these books that never got finished. Wins a winner in a dream of spring we're not gonna get them and if we do get them like i just think he's he realized how he even knew how bad the hbo series was going because he pleaded with them to make it 10 seasons instead of eight but benahoff and and weiss wanted to just get done with it so they could cash out cash me out bro that's what they did they wanted to sign a giant either star wars they tried to sign a giant star wars uh contract for a trilogy they tried to sign a giant uh netflix deal so you get the idea everybody's cashing out and the fans are left holding the bag so i just wanted to point it out because wins a winner nope probably not getting it for another year two years three years i don't know he's trying to resist the notion of splitting up wins of winter oh you want three books now three books uh, and if you, if case you were wondering, The Rise of the Dragon, an illustrated history of the Targaryen dynasty, will be published on October 25th, 2022. Good luck with that. I'm I'm not I'm not buying. It. I just I'm not. It's not a thing. So anyway, if you like what we do here today, uh, please give us a like, subscribe, thumbs up, rumble us, all those good things. Uh, check us out anywhere you get podcasts. It's free, full-length audio podcast. We also live stream Friday nights, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time on YouTube. So check that out. And also make sure that you um, check us out. If you want to directly speak to us, you can always check us out on Instagram, fork underscore you. I almost forgot that one. Gee. Anyway, thanks again. And we're on to the next one. Uh -huh.